My name is Rufus Sewell, and I play Mark Easterbrook in The Pale Horse. As you can see um, from my surroundings, he's a, man of, um, he's a man of his time. He works in antiques, quite high-end antiques, and he likes his very flash motor cars. To all intents and purposes, he's someone who makes his life look good from the outside, but inside is a different story. He tries to discover, as does my character, Stanley, what is going on and why these people are disappearing. But there's a secret of his own that he has, which is the big reveal. We are referred to as the witches, yes. but are we witches? Oh, That's important. We yes. have different gifts, different strengths, but we operate as one unit. Osborne was described in the script as a, an owlish little man, 60, with wire-rimmed spectacles and a few uh, strands of hair scraped across his bald pate. And I thought, they, they've come to the right shop. I'm so intrigued by these witchy women, the sort of ambiguity that surrounds whether or not there is any kind of paranormal activity in this thing whether or not there is magic going on. Uh, Mothballs has actually helped me get into the character. You just have to put on these extraordinary costumes from the 50s and 60s, and you're transported straight back. I come from a very different background to this guy, um, and I enjoy slipping into it like a suit. Working with Rufus Sewell is, is actually vaguely irritating, because the older he, I've known him for many, many years, and um, the older he gets, the more handsome he gets down his eyes. I mean, he's got cheekbones you can write letters with. It wouldn't surprise me, in fact, if he had um, uh, committed some kind of Faustian pact with the devil in order to make sure that he looks as good as he does. It's just a great opportunity to see different characters um, in extremis and all the lying and the conniving and the cheating. It's fun.